right, so we're going to, we are um, with period one, and we are attempting to export our OneNote and upload it to Moodle. So we're going to go to File, Export. We're just doing the page. We're going to do it as a PDF and see what happens. We're going to click Export. I'm going to put it on the desktop so I know where to find it. And I'm submitting my essential question, so I'm going to call this EQ. Chapter 2. Alright. Now, I'm going to essential question. Let's see. Oh. Submit paper? Is that what I do? Alright. File upload. Huh? Student name. Is my name there? Am I enrolled in my own class? No. Alright, I'm just going to... Kate Wilson, you're in here. I'm going to use your name. Hang on. This is, I want to see if this works. I know Kate Wilson would do her uh, essential question. Yeah. All right, so it was, there it is, open, add submission. Let's see if this works. And so basically this process that I'm doing now, assuming it works, would be the exact same process you would use for uploading your uh, study guide. You would just upload the page. And so, let's see, where did, let's see if we can find Miss Wilson here, I used her name. There it is, ah, cool, look at that. Let's see how this looks. Oh, check it out, yo. Oh, look at that. There it is. Cool. So that is how you would take something from OneNote and put it into a turnitin.com assignment on Moodle. Questions? When we turn things in, do you want us to PDFs? Generally speaking, yes. PDF is best just because it uploads faster. If it gives you, if it's just a text submission and you want to type it real quick, that's fine as well. The most important thing to me is it gets up there. But I always prefer PDFs, especially if it's a big document. If it's just a short essential question, you could just do the text upload. Yes. That's okay. You, you're just gonna. we don't. You don't have to upload it right this second. Actually, you no. Know Why don't you guys do it? Just do it now. I should. We should kind of saw how to do it. Yeah. You just save the page, and then um, the chapter three will be there, but it'll be blank. That's fine. Yes, Roshin. Only the study guide. So let's do that together. Let's let's go over that together. So I'm going to close this, and um, let's go to our study guide. So I'm going to go back. I'm scrolling down to our highlighted section. So where is it? Chapter two study guide. You're going to click on that. Actually, you got to make sure you save it, export it first. So so before. Listen, so you're going to go to your study guide and you're going to click file. You're going to click export. You're only doing the page. Don't put section or notebook because then you're going to give me too much stuff. Scroll down and choose PDF. Export it. And when you save it, um, use your name in the period. So chapter two and three study guide, Reagan, and this is period one. And let me put that on my desktop for now. Yes. We'll check. Just give me one second. Let me finish this, and then I'll double check that. So now let me go back to Moodle. Um, so here we are, the Chapter 2 Study Guide. I'm going to submit my paper. 
add submission type. I'm going to do file upload. And apparently, when you guys get this, you don't have to choose your name, right? Now, you know why this is letting me do this? It's letting me do this so that if you ever submit anything to me as a file, and I think it's not legit, I can submit your paper to turnitin.com. So that's why it's allowing me to do this. So, um, but I'm assuming the process looks the same for you. So Rasheen, I'm going to upload it under your name, but you should be able to overwrite it. So um, chapter two, um, study guide. So there it is, open, add submission. So, if you ever submit anything to me and you try it like it's late work and you don't go through turnitin.com, I can submit it myself. However, if it, if it is a turnitin assignment and it's late, um, you need to email it. So, I would have to, I guess, turn it in to turnitin.com myself. So, don't think, because last year I think some students thought that. They're like, well, I will email her the assignment late. And that way it didn't go through turn it in and I copied it and she'll never know. I can still submit it. I, I you know, I can submit your assignments the same way you do. All right, so this says the API base or URL is incorrect. So I wonder, I'm not sure why that happened. Oh, huh? hmm. Well, have you guys submitted it? Did it work for you? Anybody have that error message? Yes. No, I'll change the date, and it'll, I'll, I'll have to change the date. Thank you for letting me know. So you were able to submit it okay? Yeah. All right, excellent. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know, um, and I will take this screencast and put it on Moodle. So it leads you through the process in case you forget later on. Because from now on, you'll submit these study guides as a homework assignment. I just wanted to run through it in class the first time so everybody understood what to do.